Doug Beaumont, the director of Faith Formation for St. Joseph's Church in Modesto, and I am here with our Faith Formation team, who I'd like to introduce now. Leslie Klinger, coordinator of Children's Faith Formation. Noemi Ewald, coordinator of Christian Initiation. I'm Ryan Shields, the youth and confirmation minister. So we're going to go ahead and do a scripture reading now. They no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. Now that is from Mark 9, 8, kind of a strange verse when taken out of context. But it makes sense when you have a look at what has just happened. This is during the transfiguration. And Jesus is seen with Moses and Elijah. And the apostles are amazed and they're thinking, you know, do we need to make a place for these guys? Are they staying long? So what's interesting about the transfiguration is that you have two of the greatest old covenant prophets, Moses and Elijah, appearing with the great New Covenant prophet, Jesus Christ. And this is a pivotal time in history because we are transitioning from the old ways where God dealt mainly with his people Israel into the New Covenant where he is going to be dealing with the entire world and offering salvation to those outside of Israel, even the Gentiles. And so what is interesting to note here in this verse, and we don't want to read too much into it, but it is clever how Mark records this and says that from then on, they only saw Jesus because as Jesus' ministry progresses and he enters into his Passion Week, we see the transition from the Old to the New Covenant where Jesus is the prophet for the church. Let us pray. Our lives are busy until we find peace in you. Give, Give us, us good, good rest, rest, Lord. Our times are anxious. Lord, until we find hope in you. Give, Give us good rest, Lord. Our hearts are restless, Lord, until we find rest in you. Give, Give us, us good rest, Lord. For your guys' family activities this week, we want you to make Mass a part of your family conversation today. A question that you can ask before Mass is, who can we pray for? Another question that you can ask for this time after Mass is, what words stood out to you during the readings? Lastly, I want you to think about what Father talked about during the homily and discuss that with your family as well. We hope you are having a fantastic Lenten season. We pray God's blessings on you from St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Modesto.